said that I would have actually liked to start a video but the day just sort of got away from me um, and I'm now varnishing this little painting that I made uh, for my friend's Christmas gift that I meant to give to her this week but you know, kind of need to varnish it before I do that. But I thought while I do that, I'd kind of catch you up on what my day's been like and give you a bit of an overview of what I have planned for this week. This is my last week of uni. Before the Christmas holidays, I go home Friday morning, but my dad's actually coming over for dinner tonight. So I've basically just been packing all day so I can give everything to him to bring home. So I don't have to bring everything home on the train on Friday because that I did that last year and that was just kind of a nightmare that I don't really want to repeat. So that's kind of what's taken majority of my day really. Uh, and then I had a video to finish editing that's gone up, which I'm quite happy with. That was Vlogmas week three, but technically episode four, because I filmed a weekend in between two of them. Uh, and then I just had a bunch of housey bits to do, like laundry and food shop and that. So nothing too interesting to film, honestly. But I will be doing some painting tomorrow that I am very uh, curious to see how it turns out. I haven't done an A3 oil painting in a bit. Uh, and also I've just been really into portraits lately, which I hadn't been for, for a good few months, I feel like, before. Um, so I'm interested to see what comes out of that. Uh, just because I'm also not going to be painting a lot during the holidays, or at least I don't think I will. I'm mostly going to stick to like drawing, maybe I'll do some gouache, watercolour painting but not a lot of oil painting so I want to do at least one more piece before I leave. So that was about it for today but tomorrow morning I'm actually waking up really really early because I have a concert at 4 in the morning. I am watching a live concert from a radio company, I think it's their first like debut concert that they're doing. <laughs> That's going to be interesting, I'm probably going to go back to sleep and then wake up and be slightly late for uni tomorrow morning, but you know, priorities. <laughs> and then for the rest of the week, I have a friend coming over for dinner tomorrow, a lunch planned, like a Christmassy lunch planned with two other friends on Wednesday. And then amidst all this, I need to finish taking plant biology notes, get those ready to be printed, keep up with my biochemistry notes this week, sort those out and then get everything printed on Thursday, pack, clean the flat and leave on Friday. concert was really really amazing I really enjoyed it it was definitely worth like waking up before in the morning for would 100% do it again and they played a bunch of songs from the first two albums which I love but they also played a bunch from the third album that's coming in January so I'm really excited for that to come out now because I really enjoyed all of them so that's quite cool and overall like it was a really enjoyable experience obviously like being there in person would have been different but I'm really glad I got to see it live you know, at least online anyways. Uh, and I've already saved a bunch of stills from it that I would really like to paint, just because they are one of my favorite bands and I think it'd be a good way to like document the memory, but also the lighting was really cool. And I feel like I've been very much into drawing and painting portraits lately. So I'm kind of feeling inspired to do that and maybe I'll get to it um, hopefully later this week because I don't think I'm bringing my oil paints home for the holidays. So we'll see about that, but today, I have just got home from uni, I was out for lunch with a friend as well and now it's about like 3ish so I have an hour 15 minutes, an hour and a half of good lighting left and I really want to get a head start on this painting. I sketched it out I think two or three nights ago, this is a reference I took two weeks ago. I really enjoyed the whole set of references and I already did like an A3 drawing based off of a bunch of references from that but I also really wanted to paint one of them because the references are quite muted, but I feel like the colours in them could be like a good starting point for something quite cool. And I have an interesting colour scheme in mind for this one, and I'm just kind of feeling inspired to do that today.
I work out how I plan for it too. I think I just let myself really get kind of more focused on the reference itself and the colours of the reference itself rather than my own idea that I had for it, which is okay. I'm gonna get back to it like tomorrow or the day after with a base already in place because I'm letting this first layer dry because there's no point in overworking it. It's just going to keep getting more muddy and dull. But I definitely want this to be brighter and I have a really interesting colour scheme in mind that I didn't really manage to bring to it. I think I was starting to do that at the beginning and then I don't really know what happened but it just did not work out. Which you know happens and I'll get back to it and fix it and we'll finish this painting eventually, hopefully before the end of the week because as I said I don't think I'll be bringing my oil paints home for holidays but I'll be working with watercolour and gouache instead and I also found two sheets of A2 watercolour paper back there this weekend which I think might be fun to try and use up at least one of them, see what I can kind of come up with when it comes to watercolour. For now I really do need to get to some uni work because I want the holidays to be like as free as possible, just have time to enjoy with family and painting and like going skiing and that. So that does mean I need to sort out my notes this week before Thursday before I go to print them out because I don't want to be doing that during holidays.
like a 2022 goals review type of thing because I did one at the middle of this year, I think around July time. And so I felt it would be nice to do one at the end of the year and also kind of show a little bit of my setup for 2023. I'm really only planning January and February, but I am kind of setting general goals for the whole year that then I'm going to break down throughout the months. I just don't feel like starting to actually plan like from March onwards would actually really work because every time I've done that, things just end up coming up, uh, my plans change and like it's just kind of difficult for me to plan in the long term so I'm going to do a proper planning of January and February but I also just wanted to explain what goals I have for the new year and what things I'll be practicing and kind of what you can expect because I have seen a few people do those videos uh, in the art world as well on YouTube and I've really enjoyed watching them so I've thought I'd make my own version as well. Uh, one I would definitely recommend checking out is Kelsey Rodriguez one. I really really like her video and it's the one that gave me, you know, the final push to actually make my own so I'll leave that linked in the description for you to check out. She has an amazing YouTube channel anyway so definitely go follow her. Hopefully the lighting doesn't get too bad. I am just going to get on with filming this and then I've done some biochemistry work early this morning. I'm going to do some more this afternoon because I can just finish sorting out all of my notes today because tomorrow's lecture is just going to be like a big recap and we're not going to do anything new. But yeah, that's the plan for today. Okay, video has been finished. My camera stopped recording at one point and I only realised a while later and I panicked because I thought it like stopped 10 minutes earlier but it only stopped like a minute earlier so... I didn't really miss a lot and I just re-recorded that now but I've done a bit of a rough planning this is gonna need a tiny bit of refining but I feel like that would just have required too much thinking and me staring at the screen and trying to figure out my life so I did kind of a rough planning for now and then we'll refine that later today for now I'm going to start importing everything onto my laptop leave that to do its thing and go to the gym So today is actually my last day over here, I'm leaving for the holidays tomorrow, which means today has just been a lot of like small errands and tidying up the flat, I need to finish cleaning, I need to start packing to go home, and in between all of that I also wanted to finish the painting that you saw me starting earlier in the video, so I thought I still got like an hour-ish of good lighting left, I think it's almost full, so maybe less than an hour actually, but I'll see how far I can get with that. I'm not entirely sure whether I can finish it, but I can at least try. And also, I think I mentioned earlier that I wasn't going to bring my oil paints home. I'm very much reconsidering because the drawing that I did last week, uh, I'd really like to turn into a painting. And I have some A2 watercolor paper at home that I'm looking forward to using. And I think I'd just like to prime that and do that as an oil painting during the holidays. So I'm just going to bring my oil paints home. I think I want to set up the overhead camera for this because tonight I would also like to film like a chill sketch with me type of video so I can just leave that set up and it's going to be easier to film both.
I've done like a solid 40 minutes work on this plus I think last time uh, I did another like 45 minutes or an hour so I think it's looking okay I need to see it in natural light because this yellow light lamp really messes up with the colors so I hope I haven't made any like terrible mistakes with it uh, I'll check it over tomorrow but it's still a bit weird over here it's a bit weird and I don't like that that's a very harsh line but I also don't really know how to go about fixing it so I think that's gonna be a problem for January me when I come back from the holidays and for now I need to clean my palette properly because I need to bring it home uh, so that's gonna take a while but it's gonna be very satisfying so I hope you enjoy watching that I don't have a lot to bring home because I already brought a lot home in the past few weeks and also I just quickly popped downstairs to the print shop to get my notes printed that is very intimidating uh, that is two subjects that's bioinformatics and all of biochemistry which we had three professors for so it was a lot of notes to get printed and I still need to get plant biology, plant genetics and molecular biology printed but I just don't have all of my notes sorted out for those yet so I haven't done that yet. <laughs> 